What do you want, Griffin? You were looking at me. You were in front of me. Sure, like you give me that look for no reason. thumbnail template so um you probably searched this up or maybe even subscribed to me and saw this on your recommendations and um i just wanted to thank you for that it actually means so much to me anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope it helps and you learn something new with it and that you improve your thumbnails so without further ado let's get started so the first thing that you want to do is go in the website called Pixlr E. So there's also Pixlr X R W, I think. I'm not sure, but there's those also. So um, the first thing you want to do uh, after you um, after you go on the website, this is also in, in the description where I write also um, what I use. So you can press on. Pixlr, the website is right there. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do after that is you can you you press create new and you choose the one that says web um, 720p. So when you finish that, you're gonna press create and there you go. Now you have a simple uh, layer and nothing, literally nothing. After you do this, um, you want to go in layer and you're gonna press add image as layer. So I already have the background that I want for my thumbnail and I'm gonna be doing it a cottagecore theme because cottagecore is my theme, I think. Um, so you import your background. You can go search some on Pinterest or Google or Safari or any web browser that you use. And yeah, let's make this picture aesthetic. So you wanna select it and then you wanna go in adjustment and then go until you see highlights and shadows. You can drag this tab right on top of your screen so that you can clearly see your picture. So I'm gonna make my highlight lower and make the shadows higher, just like this. After that, you can go in exposure and change it the just the way you want and make it lighter or darker or just keep it the way you want the next thing that i think is the thing that makes it a thumbnail th template is the filter so when so you go in filter then go in details and then go in blur so i'm gonna blur it in between 50 and 75 so because if you do 100 it, it's not really going to show the details of what it is it's just going to be a green background and if you just do zero then it's just literally just a thing and there's going to be too much details for your um text and gfx or whatever you want to put on top of it and it's not it's going to make it very busy so i suggest doing it in between 50 and 75 so the next thing after blurring your picture and changing the changing the brightness and contrast and everything you want to go in shape so this is the shape icon so you're going to press that and just create like a rectangle just like this you want to make it white i have no clue why mine is pink <laughs> but just make it white in in case yours isn't and then you want to go in the three dots the three dots over here and go in transparency and make it like yeah, I think I'm going to keep it on 47. So, yeah, that's what you do. So, after you do that, you have your almost done template. Yay! Then you want to go in Google, Web, Safari, um, Firefox, whatever, and search in aesthetic lines. And I'm going to choose this one. You can just press copy and then just press paste. And you're going to have this. Um, don't forget to press your select um, button that's going to select your thing. And then after that, you want to go and edit and go and fill and make it white. 
Now I'm just gonna adjust it to like fit in with the, the thumbnail and yeah. So I'm gonna add other lines and I'll be right back. So now that I finished adjusting my thing, you can go on and add stickers. I'll be right back after I do that. So now that I finished adding stickers and adjusting it until I like it, um, now you can just add your text. So now you can just write whatever you want and then just make the color white and then go in styles and make it outline and then make it the color like a dark green like this and then make it like thicker and then go in shadow and add some shadows. So now that I did this, you can see that it's kind of well detailed and that it pops out. So you can also change the font. And also you can just copy and paste it and then just change the font like this and make it into the font you want and then just write um, your thing. And you can just change the color like I'm doing right now and make the out outline vice versa to the first one I did. So. So now I'm just going to copy some ima uh, this image of the logo to add it on this, um, this thumbnail. And as you can see, it's in the back. So if you want it to be on top, you just have to find the image. Like over here, it's image.png and just drag it on top and it's going to be the first layer you see. So I'm just going to create this like to be like smaller, just like that and you can also adjust it if you want and there you go you have your thumbnail you, let me just do some last finishing touches so there you go you have your design and last but not least how to save it you can just press command s on your keyboard or just save it so how to save it is that you go on file and then you press save and then you have your thumbnail and then you press download and then you just have your thumbnail and then you can click it and you have your thumbnail and you guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope this really helped you guys to improve or to learn how to make thumbnails and if it, if i helped you guys please like and comment so other people can see it and i really enjoyed showing you guys how to so have an amazing day bye